Over the past six episodes of Kegel Roll and Thunder, we have witnessed the ecstasy and the agony as Australia's best bowlers battled it out for a spot in today's grand final. The tournament comes to an end. Certainly in the box seat now to make the final as David Porto and Matt Riley comprehensive today. In Pool A, it was four amazing teams and the competition was fierce. Shot, and here he is now. And gets the strike. That's what you see Jason Belmont is all about there. The world's best bowler, Jason Belmonte, and fellow professional Sam Cooley combined to light up the lanes. Looking for a turkey here, Jason Belmonte. On fire so far today and continues. And that's a money shot. That is a shot. Makes him one of the best bowlers in the world. The unorthodox style of Belmo entertain an enthusiastic crowd here at Tempin City in Sydney. Must have this spare, Jason. Must have it. And get it. He's the man. He got it. That's clutch. Cool as ice, Sam Cooley showed us why he is a bowling professional with national and international credits to his name. He's delivered a lot of strikes in the tournament, but he does here. That's the shot he's been looking for. From top guns to the young guns, this budding pair from Queensland brushed reputations aside. Need to get things underway with a strike. Can they do it? They can. This surprise duo performed with vintage maturity to go through Pool A undefeated. Come on! Massive! It gets it! They've got a draw! Take a bow, Blaine Fletcher emulating his bowling idol, Jason Belmonte. Not only does he look up to Jason Belmonte, but he bowls very similar style to him. The two hands, and that is a, a great start for the youngster. He shows Jason how to do it. Bowling's bright prospects have the future on their side. You're seeing the best of the best here in action today, folks. And Sean Bowling, the youngster, says, we're not going away. The formidable team of Rebecca Vukalos and Emma Walsh showed us they can mix it with the boys anywhere, anytime. And we are underway with a strike. So there we go. These lethal ladies of Pool A were turning heads and turning turkeys. <laughs> Going for it, and got it! From Darwin, Rebecca Vukalos was on song when required. Big moment of the game here of this match. Needs a strike, gets it. Delivers when the team needs it. And from Ballina, Emma Walsh provided enthusiasm and excitement to the tournament. Here we go. Have a look. Needing a strike. Looking okay. Gets a what strike. A shot. What a shot here from Emma. But it was the powerhouse duo of David Porto and Matt Riley proving to be the best of Pool A. Gives it a real rip on this occasion. It converts. That is a huge one there from David Porto. Who really has Daniel found his range. Oh, and that's the strike they needed. They really need that strike right there. Undefeated and unrelenting, these snipers were on target. For the win, and to take himself with David Porto to five points overall. And they've got the win. David Porto led the charge, smashing the pocket and shattering his opposition. Big moment. David Porto in with his shot. And Oh, he's got it. With it! David Porto, take a bow. Wow. The Tassie Devil, Matt Riley, adjusted his sights and made his opponents pay dearly. We've well, seen what his partner's been able to do, and he's done the same. They were the first team through to today's grand final showdown. Look, I'm glad I've got a good partner. In Pool B, the competition was also superb, with another four attacking teams fighting for a spot in the big one. Here's Glenn Loder, the local. He's in. He delivers when it's needed. The local lads from Sydney were at home and enjoying great territorial support. Of the highest quality. And he continues that quality going there. Great shot. He's got some sneaky power, Lachlan Merchant has. An imposing Glenn Loder 
took great delight in smashing the pins in lane four. Here is Glenn Loder. And he does get a strike. Revs up the crowd, the local boys. They've taken advantage. Up and coming future star, Lachlan Merchant, took full advantage of familiar surroundings. Lachlan looking to bounce back and gets it. Wow. Enter Team Beck, who threw down the gauntlet from the outset. Here's Beck Whiting and gets a strike. Well, oh, that's the start you want. The girls are a strike force to be wary of, burning up lane five. This is Beck Martin. In now, and well, a double for the girls. Beck Whiting delivered a dynamic demolition as she hit her straps. High quality start to this match. All four of the players. And it doesn't get much better than that. This girl is an absolute machine. Beck Martin, also from Melbourne, was dynamic and possessed skill and determination. Very consistent. And oh, gets a, gets a, gets a strike. <laughs> wow. That's a crowd pleaser. Representing Sunset Super Bowl Toowoomba, Ashley Warren and Chris Castle created havoc at Ten Pin City. Ashley Warren to start things with a strike. This ambitious combination continues to take a few scalps along their merry way. Must have this spare to force Beck to stand up. And as he got it, he does. What a spare. That is fantastic. Great drama and great team spirit with an outstanding performance. Chris Castle. It's a strike. What a strike that was. The walls of the castle falling there with that strike. Runners up in Pool B, they depart with the confidence and commitment to return next year. Started things off with a strike. His team needs one now. Can he deliver? I'll tell you what, he can. That was a confident shot there from Ashley Warren and a big high five. But Pool B was dominated by the master and his apprentice. Frame nine, Jared Hanford. This is a big shot in the context of the match. And a big pressure shot, and he's delivered. George Hollywood Fralingos and his deputy, Jared Langford, with their weapons of mass destruction. Jared Langford. Massive amount of revs on that one, and gets a much needed strike. George showed his experience throughout, delivering high quality percentages. Got the five. And the 10 to negotiate. Oh, and he gets it, he does! Wow. What a spare George Fralingos! Wow! Hollywood, George Fralingos with the spare. An absolute machine. Jared Langford had his game face on and took no prisoners. Here's Jared Langford. Oh, Lord. Look, he's delivered, he has. Yes. That looked right straight out of the hand from Jared Langford. This all left-handed team from Queensland were undefeated in Pool B and are also contenders for today's grand final. Yeah, we just keep getting better every week, don't we? Here we are at the business end of the competition and winning their way through to the grand final from Pool A, David Porto and Matt Riley. They came through on a pin count, but no one will deny their spot in the final. They were tremendous over the last few weeks, going through the tournament undefeated through to the final from Pool A, David Porto and Matt Riley. Well, guys, well done on making the final. David, you first of all. How confident are you going into the decider against the team that we really dialled in last time we saw them? Yeah, can't be too confident um, because, uh, yeah, they did really pick up in that game. Uh, but we finished off pretty well in our game too, 240. So um, I reckon we can definitely match it. Matt, a 240 here in these conditions, uh, when you produce that a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, outstanding. So you must be full of confidence going into the decider. Oh, look, um, it was it was really good. I mean, I threw the ball really well. We both did. So um, considering this is the same pattern we bowled on a few weeks ago, uh, the fresh, I'm very confident. Um, these guys haven't bowled on the fresh yet, so we do have a slight advantage there. David, for yourself, uh, how have you enjoyed 
the whole tournament. I know you've reached the decider. We've seen a couple of pretty well condensed teams that have gone home without a win. So to make it through has to show the, the depth of talent that's been on display. Uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster couple of weeks for me. Uh, first week I did all right. Second and third week not too great. Um, but hopefully we can start stringing them together, both of us, this week and, and see how we go. Matt, what will be the strategy between the, the two of you going into the final? Oh, yeah. Look, uh, over the f past month, we haven't changed our strategy at all. So it'll be the same. David will lead. I'll finish off. Um, it's worked so far, so we don't really want to change anything. Just throw more strikes. All right. Well, good luck at doing that. You've been great the last couple of weeks. Uh, good luck in the final. All the very best. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thanks. It was also a tremendous battle in Pool B. We're coming through undefeated in the end. George Falingos and Jared Langford. They were superb. Dialed in late in the tournament. They're going to be very hard to beat today, the winners from Pool B. They put the competition on notice that they were also hungry for the Australian Bowling Cup. Well, George and Jared, well done on making it through to the final. George, for you, first of all, can you believe in this calibre of competition? You, you took six points out of six to, to reach this stage. Great effort. It was, thank you, yeah. It was, it was tough. There was, there was just no easy matches. And uh, it's just good bowling, patience, and absolutely just sticking to our game plan. And uh, Jared, you, you know, the more games we bowl, the more comfortable we're feeling, and the higher the scores are going. I feel, I feel as though we got a pretty good crack at this. Two different styles, Jared, between the two of you, but it, it's worked, hasn't it? You're complementing each other really well. Yes, it has. Um, George can generally create a bit of a, a hook spot down lane for me. So that's just something that I can aim and bounce off. And George is supremely accurate, so he doesn't terribly terribly miss much. Does it mean anything here going into your first match of the tournament uh, on the, the freshly oiled lanes, George? You, they've been a bit bit older so far. Yeah, we well, just due to the, uh, uh, the draw, we haven't actually bowl on the fresh but you know our strategy with our ball selection and surface changes i think we're going to be okay I, I don't really see it being a big deal right, what about strategy in the final for you jared surface that's all we need yeah we just need to keep the surface yeah we're well, going to keep you know keep a bit of surface on the ball keep the ball in play we're not going to try to hook a lot of boards today keep the ball in the pocket and i think that'll be enough all right well, we've enjoyed watching you so far through the tournament both of you good luck in the final today thank, thank you, you. Well, there's not long now until we get our grand final underway here at Tenpin City. And here is the Kegel oiling machine. What sort of pattern will it produce? Of course, does a great job putting the oil on the lanes and in turn producing that unpredictable, invisible pattern that the bowlers very quickly have to work out. Done lane four, now it's on to lane five. Kegel, great supporters of Roland Thunder. High tech piece of machinery. Stay with us after the break, the showdown for the Australian Bowling Cup. This is Kegel, Roland Thunder. Now, Bowl Patrol is a great way for kids ages 6 to 12 to get involved in bowling. All sorts of great things happening here. Shorten lanes, you get some great coaches teaching the kids how to go about their business of improving their bowling. For the details, bowlpatrol.com.au. is the big one. David Porto and Matt Riley up against George Falingos and Jared Langford. The ultimate battle for the Australian Bowling Cup. This is Kegel, Roland Thunder. The Australian Bowling Cup, Kegel, Roland Thunder. It is time for the final. 
George Fralingos and Jared Langford representing Caboolture up against David Porto and Matt Riley from Wind City. Peter Basolders, Paul Delaney and Jason Belmonte with you for the final of the Australian Bowling Cup. And it is Jared Langford to get us underway. And he does so with a, in the best way possible, a strike to get things started. Well, there is no better way to start your title matches with a, a ball buried into the pocket like that. It sends a very clear message to your opponents. It uh, loosens your teammate up a little bit and obviously loosens yourself up. So great shot, Jared. Sets the tone for the title match indeed. Here's David Porto. Can he answer with a strike? He does. Wow, crossed over to Brooklyn there. Our accountant turned school teacher answers back with a strike of his own. David Porto. We're perfect through frame one. Strike, strike to start the final. It's been absolutely sensational. The Kegel rolling thunder. Matt Riley. The Tasmanian Devil. Can he get it going? He's looking for a spare. 3-9. Um, didn't get it to, to his spot down lane. Just looked like he jumped out of it a little bit. Ball went high through the head pin. Breaks up a split. Leaves a, a makeable spare, albeit a difficult one with a sleeper pin. 3-9 conversion required. It's converted well, has Matt Riley right throughout the tournament in these sort of situations. Can he do so now in the final? Confidently done there, Jason, by Matt. Yeah, and like Paul just mentioned, it, it seems easy enough to spare the 3-9, but you're in the final of the Rolling Thunder tournament. The pins seem to get a little smaller. So, uh, you know, covering that spare is going to do him a world of good for his own confidence. He's George Falingos. His first bowl of the final gets a strike. And Paul, what makes this start even more impressive for George and Jared? It's the first time in the whole tournament, given the draw, we look at this strike on the Kegel replay, that they have bowled on, on freshly oiled lanes. That's it. And also on lane four, David and Matt won the toss, chose lane five, because uh, I think George and Jared have been dominant on lane five so far in the uh, matches. But in the final, they start off with a double. Great start. Can't get any better than this. The three in a row, the turkey, and gets it! He is dialed in once again, Jared Langford. Well, they're just taking off where they left off from the last match, aren't they, from last week? So, um, another great shot from Jared. That's knocking over 20 pins, not just 10. Uh, it certainly is going to be uh, needing for David and Matt to get their striking shoes on in a hurry because it doesn't look like those two on the other side are going to give him much room. Again, some plenty of challenges right throughout. Kegel, rolling thunder. And David Porto steps up again. They've looked to David for the first three weeks, and here he is in the final again, stepping up and uh, leading the way for his team. Jared and George, as we've gone deeper into this tournament, they've just looked more and more comfortable and getting better and better. Now Matt steps up, looking to answer back, get a double for his team in frame number four. Now the last time I saw Matt bowl was I was actually competing against him in this uh, tournament. Using this um, Sherlock, bowling ball in his hand, he looked really confident, but the one thing he's got to do, which he didn't do then, got away with a lucky break, was he's got to trust the ball to get to the right side of the lane and let it curve back to the pocket. The last couple of shots he's bowled, I don't think he's trusted himself just to let go of that ball. When he bowled against us, he bowled phenomenal, but he allowed the ball to do its thing. So he's got to get out of his own way, trust it, and the ball will do the rest for him. Lines off. The lines off. George Fralingos looking to keep this perfect start going for himself and Jared Langford. George Fralingos ready. Looking for four in a row. His team and oh, almost got it, but brings down nine. 
slightly higher into the pocket on that delivery. Missed his target a little bit further to the inside part of the ball of the lane. And it just drove past the eight pin. Easy conversion, but still one of those ones that you think to yourself, I could have got away with that. I could have got a strike on that delivery. George normally gets paid off those. He's a little bit in, but you know, with the style of his play, the accuracy, he's looking to get that ball to go through the pins and, and that could easily have been four in a row. Gets the spare. We've got a thrilling final on our hands. Back here at Tempin City in Lincoln. And it's the team representing Kabulcha of Jared Langford and George Falingos to continue. Here is Jared Langford. Come on. The all left hand combination on fire. Jared Langford yet again. A little trash talk in there on the way back. Like I said uh, in previous weeks, Jared's the type of bowler when he gets dialed in, that high rev rate, high ball speed really can equate to a lot of strikes. He's really proven that the last couple of times he stepped up on these lanes, executing wonderfully, and the bowling ball driving through the pins. Like I said, that's not going to have dirty pins this time. Here we go, David. Look at answer back. Looking for three in a row, frame five. To cut, the, cut the deficit. David Porno. Leaves the seven standing. Can't throw it any better. Jason spoke about it in previous weeks. The uh, four pin flew around the seven pin, didn't do its job. Looking for it to get a piece of the seven pin and take it out. Kegel rolling from the replay. Just shows the four pin just fly around there. David liked that. Pick up the spare 10 pin game in favor of George and Jared through frames five. Here is David Porto to finish off. Sends it down and misses. Big moment in the final. Yeah, that's a turning point. We'll, we'll come back later in the match and look at that frame and wonder what might have been if that were a spare. Just a mental error there, Jason? It's just, I think he just didn't take his time. I think it was completely mental. It had nothing to do with... Uh, Anything else, just a rush of blood happens to the best of us. See if Matt can get the Shawlock out to the spot. This shot. Here's Matt Riley. Big strike. Yeah. His team needed it. Much better shot. If we watch the replay here, we'll see the ball get much further to the right side of the lane, down the lane, which gave the ball plenty of time to come on back. All those rotations. Kicking the, the four pin out late. Great pin action. Great shot of that one on the Kegel replay. Over the last 12 months, two and a half million people in Australia have bowled. Great fun for people of all ages and abilities. The bowling for their kids, and we get a strike here from George Fralingos. George's made a career out of that. If we're looking at somebody like Jason Bowl and, and, and Jared, and the ball goes through the pins a lot harder, George will tell you, you just need enough. And he just got a little piece of the five pin carried it and that's 10 ladies and gentlemen 32 pin lead for jared and george through frame six yeah, they're in control and just finishing off what i was saying there bowling centers great for kids parties great to get involved head to bowl.com.au to find your local center here is jared Come langford on. he's been on fire <laughs> right now jared is, is dictating terms out there isn't he he's Basically letting everybody know, I've got the nuts out there. All I need to do is get out of my own way, and there's going to be no pin standing at the end of the lane once I'm done with my frame. High risk reward game that Jared plays, and uh, he has put on the green and gold one time before. Uh, I think coming to the World Championships with you, Jason, and the team, he's going to perform quite admirably in uh, Las Vegas. Absolutely. Very excited to bowl with Jared. In fact, the guy on screen right now is also an ex-member of Team Australia. And with shots like that, you can see why. Gets a strike. So still, even though George and Jared are in control, one slip up. And David Porter and Matt Riley will be right back into it. David Porto, he's not going to quit. Two-time Australian Open champion. He's going to keep going until the very end. Plenty of feeling in this final. A lot of talk between the four bowlers. 
I think the match rides on this shot right now. And gets a strike. Wow. <laughs> That's the one that you let go of the ball, you close your eyes, you look to the heavens and pray that when you open your eyes again, there's nothing left down there. And that's exactly what happened to Matt. A very fortunate break. That was not where he was aiming at all. And casually walks off the approach, knowing that's really kept his team alive. Guys, we have a game here right now. There's 22 pins in it. And uh, a very important strike there. Big shot coming up for George Frame 8, working on three in a row. Here is George for a shot. Leaves three standing. An important spare coming up. With that lucky strike from Matt there in frame eight, uh, George jumped up there, left a two, four, seven. Jason, you you think that that might have played on him a little bit as he as he stepped up there, thinking that you know Matt got away with one? Yeah, I think it can get into your subconscious anyway. You think to yourself, ah, oh, you know, if Matt had have missed. Uh, that really would have relaxed the pressure on me. Uh, however, they got a fortunate break now. It's still pressure on my shoulders. It can't get to, but um, hopefully that wasn't what was going through George's mind, so he can just focus on the next few frames. George converts, gets the spare final coming down to concluding stages. Jared Langford. Back here in the Kegel Roland Thunder Australian Bowling Cup final. Looking to drive home his team's advantage. Now a strike here is incredibly important. It will mean that nothing that they can do after this shot. There's nothing that um, David and Matt can do now to shut out George and Jared. That strike gives them an opportunity to step up in the 10th to win no matter what happens from David and Matt. Interesting here with the, uh, the tactics of the team. Would you, uh, in, in your experience, like that ninth and tenth frame to finish it off, or would you want to step up with the ball in hand, looking at finishing the job yourself? Well, in this particular circumstance, there's a lot of pressure on Dave and Matt to finish this out, so I don't mind waiting sometimes. Here is David Porter. What an unlucky break, David. Great shot, aggressive, as David always is. Sent the messenger in front of the seven and didn't get a piece of it. We've got to say, he hasn't had any luck at this final, David Porto. It's the second occasion through the final. You thought for him the seven was going to fall. It's still very critical. He must spare this seven pin. An open frame would be disaster. It'd be the end of the match for him. And this time he gets it. And Jason, let's go back 15 minutes. You said when they left that frame open in the fifth frame, let's go back to it and see yep. how vital it is. Well, it's proving to be very vital. Absolutely. A spare in that frame, if he had have spared, would allow Matt to step up to, f to throw a couple of strikes and force George to get the first strike in the 10th. Right now, as it is, Matt needs two strikes or three strikes to force George to get a spare. There is Matt Rock needing a strike and misses. Great shot from Matt. Threw it exactly how he wanted to. Wrap that six pin around the 10. Looking at 215 max. George is going to be able to step up in the 10th frame. Stay beyond the far line to win the Kegel Rolling Thunder, our first one at Tempin City Lickham. What a tournament it's been. I'm sure you've all enjoyed it over the last seven weeks or so. And Matt Riley finishing the tournament there, leaving the frame open, but they finish with 204. And that means that the champions of the Australian Bowling Cup will be George Falingos and Jared Langford. And it's George Falingos to finish things off. And it's been a dominating performance from George and Jared. They deserve to engrave their names onto this trophy. Uh, I don't think anyone in the field would disagree with me when I say that. They are the deserving champions. So congratulations to George and Jared on winning the Rolling Thunder 2017. Great effort.
David Porto and Matt Riley put in a tremendous performance over the last three weeks and today in the final. Just come up short and deserved winners agreed with Jason. George Fralingos and Jared Langford. Here we go, building up to the final. George will love this as we both know, Jason. He will revel in this moment. He's got the crowd going. This is the last shot for the Kegel, Roland Thunder. They are the champions, and he finishes off in style. Well done, George Fralingos and Jared Langford, representing Caboolture, the winners of the Australian Bowling Cup, Kegel, Roland Thunder for 2017. But take a bow, David Porto and Matt Riley. They've been absolutely superb as well right throughout the tournament. What a fantastic seven weeks or so we've had. I thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, nothing better to have the best bowler in the world competing here and sitting next to us. Such an honour. Jason, leave the last word with you, mate. No, it's um, having bowling back on television here in Australia, having this tournament in one of the most prestigious bowling centres in Australia and of course having all the fans come out means a lot to us bowlers. We're extremely excited about this and honestly this tournament played out the way that it was supposed to play out. Congratulations to that man and his partner. Uh, they are the deserving champions like I said. And hopefully next year I get a chance to come back, maybe try and put one win on the board. <laughs> that would be nice. But if not, the best bowlers will win again next year. No, you brought a lot to the, the tournament anyway. Uh, Jason, appreciate you two uh, spending time behind the microphone with us. Uh, Paul, you're not done just yet, but well done to the winners. George Falingos and Jared Langford winning the Australian Bowling Cup. Roland Thunder, the Kegel Roland Thunder. The winners, George Falingos and Jared Langford. Let's have a look uh, at some of the highlights of the final, Paul, and it was absolutely sensational. A fitting final to a great tournament. Yeah, that's what we wanted, a tremendous final. Dominant performance from George and Jared throughout the event. Come up just short there, David Porter and Matt Riley put up a great performance, but ultimately the best team did win in the event, and uh, we look forward to it next year. We certainly do. You saw some terrific highlights. Here's George Fralingos with one of his strikes. He enjoyed that one, as did this man, Jared Langford. Terrific tournament, and he finished off with a strike. Did George Fralingos, they got the win. Fralingos and Langford representing Caboolture. David and Matt, a high quality final, bad luck on the result, but you must be happy with the way things went right throughout the tournament. Just didn't get it done today though. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Um, I mean, me, me and Matt, we're, pr we're pretty happy with how we did. Um, to even be here is uh, an achievement in itself. Uh, but full credit to the other guys, they really, really bowled well today. Um, they put in better shots than us. So, um, yeah, like I said, full credit to those guys. It was a high quality final, Matt. You just were just behind the eight ball, weren't you, for, for most of it? Yeah, look, they got off to a flyer, and it's just one of those things. Like, they're two very good bowlers. Um, George is the best left hander in the country. Jared's right behind him. You know, it's, it's. At the end of the day, there was no losers. I don't think it was bowling was the winner. So, no, we're just all happy to be here. Can you let us in? if you can, bearing in mind a G-rated program on a bit of the talk that was happening between the two oh. teams in the final? <laughs> oh, look, it's just, we've known those, I've known those guys for years. I've known George for 20 years, so it's just a bit of fun, a bit of banter, and it's it's what we do, though. We're all good mates off the lanes, and when we're down there, it's it's serious, but we're up off the lanes, we're all good mates. It is, the whole tournament, they've been played in great spirit, hasn't it? 
Uh, yeah, it has. It has. Um, look, yeah, and you, you'd see that on camera. We, we'd be back there. We'd give each other a high five. Um, not so much encouraging each other. A little bit of banter, like you said. Um, but it's all good spirits. It's all, yeah. Want to come back next year and go one better? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, that, that's, we've already said that to each other. We hope we're together next year and um, we hope we're here for it. Well, guys, well done on the way that the whole tournament went for you. Represented each other really well, uh, played really well and bad luck on not getting the result in the final. Thanks, Thank mate. You. Appreciate Thank it. George and Jared, champions of uh, the Kegel Rolling Thunder. How good does it feel, George? Amazing. It's... It's it, like it's a pressure off, but and look, this it, it was our plan to come here and you know do really well, but it was such a tough and grinding format, and we just kept digging in and digging in and getting better and better throughout the tournament. And uh, Jared, you know, hats off to him. He bowled amazing uh, the last couple of games, and makes my job a whole lot easier when he just keeps striking. Jared, I think I asked you the same question last week. We ask it now dialed in yet again yeah. but must feel great when it happens at the business end of a tournament definitely um, when you get to the end of a tournament that's where you make your money and if you can put in the execution and get the results it's great feeling George, you've won just about everything except the Melbourne Cup and the Davis Cup. So, I mean, <laughs> you're used to winning trophies. It's good to good to add this one to the mantelpiece. Oh, it is. And, look, it's a it's a great thing for our sport. And, and to be the first inaugural winners of it, you know, it feels amazing. Well, our name is going to be forever etched on that trophy. And, uh, look, I couldn't have done it without Jared. He's an amazing talent and he's, he's going to go on to bigger and better things. And uh, I hope I get the opportunity to come back next year and, uh, you know, defend our title. I'm sure you both will. Jared, for yourself, I mean, how much does this... You're at a different stage of your career to what George is, but how much does this just really uh, steal your nerves now to go on and, and produce bigger and better things in the sport? It uh, def definitely does. I want to do a lot more with this sport. I want to go overseas. I want to be like Bellamo, be like Sam, represent Australia as many times as I can. This is just a an amazing feeling and bowling under TV lights, you don't get to do that terribly often. Well, well done both of you. It's been a terrific tournament. Congratulations on being the inaugural winners. Kegel Roll and Thunder, the Australian Bowling Cup. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Well, it's a great way for the kids to get into bowling is through Bowl Patrol. Daniel, you've had a lot to do with this program. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great program. It really does teach the kids how the good fundamentals of bowling. Get some active, uh, gives them a sense of achievement, really gets them involved in, in the sport and teaching them the coordination skills that they need to play our sport. Good coaches, the short lanes too important as well. Exactly right. It means that they can start a little bit closer to the pins, uh, get to the pins without using the bumpers and really learn how to bowl properly. It's great. How important is it then too to have those, those coaches there with the kids at an early age and so much that goes into the sport? Well, that's it. Having, having a coach that's enthusiastic and high-fiving and... It's great. It is. It's absolutely fantastic. Bowl Patrol, folks, great way to get the kids involved in the sport. Look at them there having fun. For the details, head to the website, bowlpatrol.com.au. He's got the crowd going. This is the last shot for the Kegel Rolling Thunder. They are the champions, and he finishes off in style. Well done, George Fulingos and Jared Langford, representing Caboolture, the winners of the Australian Bowling Cup, Kegel Rolling Thunder for 2017. Put your hands out, put your hands together for our winners, 2017, George Fulingos and Jared Langford. Wrapping things up from the inaugural Kegel Rolling Thunder, the Australian Bowling Cup. We've had a great time over the last seven weeks bringing you top-class 10-pin bowling into your homes. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to the Independent Bowling Centres of Australia, 10-pin bowling Australia, Kegel, Computer Score, all the other sponsors. It's been great bringing it to you. Don't forget, head to bowl.com.au to find your local centre to get into this great sport of 10-pin bowling. To my co-commentators, Paul Delaney, Jason Belmonte and Daniel Webb, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. We'll see you next year, bigger and better than ever, for the Australian Bowling Cup. Well done to our winners, George Fralingos and Jared Langford. I'm Peter Basalda saying goodbye for now. And it is Jared Langford to get us underway. And he does so with the, in the best way possible, a strike to get things started. Can he answer with a strike? He does. Here's George Falingos. That was 
First bowl of the final gets a strike. The three in a row, the turkey, and gets it. He is dialed in once again, Jared Langford. Again, some plenty of challenges right throughout. Hegel rolling thunder. And David Porto steps up again. The all left hand combination on fire. Jared Langford yet again. See if Matt can get the Shawlock out to the spot. This shot. Here's Matt Riley. Big strike. Yeah. Here is Jared Come Langford. On. He's been on fire. <laughs> right now, Jared is, is dictating terms out there, isn't he? This is the last shot for the Kegel Roland Thunder. They are the champions, and he finishes off in style. Well done, George Fralingos and Jared Langford. Representing Caboolture, the winners of the Australian Bowling Cup.